Manufacturing Engineer on the 787 program. My name is Jeff Zelensky with Seattle Area Pipe Trades. I'm a chemist. I work on cargo ships as electrician. I am a research technician too. Plant manager here at General Biodiesel. I'm a lead histologist. I'm Jeff Shaver. I'm a biomedical science teacher at Cleveland High School. Cleveland High School is a STEM school, which means it's focusing on science, technology, engineering, and math which is an acronym that is quite common now, not only within the Seattle community, but growing nationally. My name is Brian Thomas. I'm the uh, Vice President and one of the principals of Quijack Marine Industries. For students that have aptitudes and training in the sciences, technologies, math, and uh, engineering are gonna be well positioned in the job market, going to be in great demand. It's been a very good career path for myself. It opens up a lot of options. Do I like my job? Yes, I love my job. But there's always opportunities for advancement. Very active and hands-on and you're constantly thinking. And it also allows you to flex your problem-solving skills. Absolutely. I love carpentry. It's a I, I want you to great money. Engineering, computers, whatever it is, within the STEM fields, the opportunities are endless. If you're interested in your in your pay scale coming out of school and in your future, I think those would be great positions to be focusing on. There's going to be a growing number of STEM career positions that need to be filled within the Seattle community. So it's important for us to emphasize the development of students in terms of their skills, but also they're interested in these STEM careers. But at the heart of the school are two different academies. One's engineering and design. The other is the School of Life Science. Students from both academies at Cleveland will be touring industries within the community with the goal of allowing students to see what are the different careers that these various industry partners, McKinstry, Boeing, Fred Hutch, plumbers and pipe fitters that are all very interested in working with Cleveland students and also, second, the skills that are required. So we're here at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center with two Cleveland biomedical students. Hey, so for... In the School of Life Sciences at Cleveland, mm -hmm. we focus a lot on project-based learning, mm -hmm. and we learn projects with teams. That's awesome. So we're always with a group, like, a group of maybe maximum of you five. You will five. be so far ahead. Any work environment that you get into, you will be working with other people. When students go out to industries and seeing, see people working on projects, they're often in groups. I think teamwork is a really important thing and um, it's a really powerful thing. Hi, I'm Anna. I am a doctor in the field of HIV immunology. If you only learn from the textbook, it can be kind of boring. But if you learn that all sciences can be applied to real life, then you really find um, the joy. Students do respond very positively to the hands-on aspect of the class. Just in having conversations with students, they really feel like they belong here. They feel like they can do sciences as a result of this program. My name is Marjorie Milligan, and I'm the uh, principal for the School of Life Sciences. The kids that attend Cleveland STEM have a real strong math and science foundation because that is our focus. My name is Doug Hartley and I teach at Computer Integrated Manufacturing. We actually get all kinds of kids in here, so not all of them are planning on being engineers, but I think they'll be learning a lot of things they wouldn't learn in normal school, which will help them in anywhere they go. My name is Tim Grinke, I run the fab shop here. Was there a lot of math involved? A lot of math. And I tell you what, I, would, I wish I would have learned a lot more in high school. <laughs> all those times I said I would never use that math and why am I learning it, that's all I do now for a living. I think anybody would benefit from more math and science. We're not specific, so we're not saying, oh, we're teaching you to be a nursing assistant, so to speak, or we're going to teach you how to be a plumber. However, the skills, that the thinking skills uh, that we teach, they'll be able to figure out how to become that if that's what they want to do, or how to be successful in college if that's what they want to do. So how much do you make? When I was uh, 18, my first job, I grossed about five grand a month as, a, uh, as an oiler, and then as an electrician, which I've been doing for about two years now, over 10 grand a month. You're looking at 90 to 100,000 a year. One of our kids, hypothetically, who goes through our apprenticeship could step away from this with a six-figure job, a six-figure career. 
one day out of his apprenticeship. My name is Brian Barnett. I'm a regular volunteer with Habitat here in Seattle. The students are from the engineering and design program and are out here building a structure of the kind that we normally build in Habitat. Cleveland's focus on STEM also encompasses community service. I think engineering can have such a big impact on how we shape the world going forward. I think it's incredibly important. My hope is that kids, um, particularly the kids that we serve, will go into STEM fields and really bring a different perspective. You know, for a group that uh, the majority of whom never picked up a hammer in their life before they got here, I think the result speaks for itself. My hope is that kids will just jump in and, and find a passion. Hopefully this, this relationship with Cleveland High School continues to build because we see some of these kids as our future. We have extra things that are going on here that other schools don't have. I believe that um, you know, we're going places very quickly.